Here I have a map with reasonably light land and also reasonably light water. The lack of tonal contrast can be a little bit of a struggle for our eyes. And so what map makers like to do is give a coastal edge effect. And you can do this in ArcGIS Pro using the gradient fill. Now let's take a look at the pattern. Instead of a relative extent, which would evenly disperse the rings within the sizes of the water bodies and give inconsistent differences, I'll set it to absolute. Interval means number of rings that the buffer draws, and the size means the total distance of those rings. So I'll set this to 10 rings, and the total distance will be 10 points, which will make it appear very smoothly. Let's finally hit apply and see what we get. Now I have some useful, helpful, and attractive visual contrast between the bodies of water and the land. But this gradient is a little abrupt. It's just a linear gradient. We can tweak this. I'll open these color scheme properties and I'll add in a couple of stops. And I'll scooch this gradient a little closer to the coast. Now we have a more pleasant non-linear gradient. It's more like a shadow. It's a good idea to use a contrasting tone for this coastal effect. And we have a light base map, so I used dark. But what if your base map is pretty dark? It doesn't quite look as good. In that case, use a light coastal effect for dark base maps. So I'll reverse this. Now the water has a darker tone to match the base map, and the coastal effect is light to provide contrast. In summary, dark base maps look best with a light water halo, and light base maps look good with a darker water halo. But you don't have to take my word for it.